but I do got that bigger range. I mean, that's like 50 meters. That that might make the difference of me spotting. So I'm going to go ahead and now buy it. So I have to spend money now to actually buy it for my tank. And it just ever so slightly changed the appearance of the vehicle. And that's what's cool too. When you buy uh, some of these mods, you will visibly see the changes on your tank. So like if I put a different gun, it would change the main gun graphics. So that's very cool. Uh, let me just see if I have to have... Nope, no engines from something else. No suspension from something else. And no radios from something else. So basically, all I, I had the option of buying was the... Uh, a different gun. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to not worry about that. Let's go back in. So now I know once I get into my randomly selected battle, um, I got a little bit better view range. I'm going to go ahead and just charge on up. <clears throat> if I can spot a couple vehicles at least that would give my folks a chance to uh, kind of get an idea where the enemy is and if I have any artillery with me they might be able to get one or two shots out. Let's see here. Team is slowly filling in. Now what's nice is I've never had to play a match where I didn't find a game available right away. Lots of people play this game. Uh, my understanding is it's pretty much just one one kind of server. Now it's not matches where there's like 800 people versus 800 people. I think we get 16 people per battle, so that's 32 total running around on the field. That seems to work out just fine. Um, any bigger than that, and it battles might take a really long time waiting to resolve. Um, any smaller than that, then it doesn't really feel like a battle. So 16 is, is really good. Let's see, we got a lot of light tanks in here. Yeah, um, my tank is listed at the very bottom on my side because I'm like the weakest thing out there right now. And these do kind of rate you on your effectiveness here. So what I'm going to do, this particular map, not very cool for artillery because you can't really shoot through buildings. It's hard to get a good angle over the buildings. So I'm just going to come up here and see if I can find one or two folks. Because if nothing else, I'll get credit for spotting folks. Now the next upgrade, uh, you know, if I played this tank long enough, I definitely would want to get a bigger engine for speed. Speed is another thing that's going to help you. If you're going really, really fast, then you can get to a point where, um, you know, it's going to be hard for. See, I just spotted spotted a couple. So if nothing else, I'm going to get credit for spotting. So I'm going to go ahead, right click, I'm going to back up. Now see, I hit somebody, no damage. Alright, that guy just went behind a building. And I'm firing on the move, which is dangerous. But, now hopefully I'm getting spotting some folks here. Alright, so the cool thing is, hopefully I spotted some folks, so if they get destroyed, I'm going to get a little more experience. Um, I did shoot, hit a couple folks, even though it didn't penetrate damage wise, I'm going to get a little credit for at least shooting at somebody and hitting them. So I'll get a little more experience this time. Even if our team doesn't win, I'll get something. So let's see, we've got two dead per side. Okay, we just killed a third person. Like I said, this map probably not very cool with a lot of artillery, so my spotting didn't help. All right, we just took another loss there, a couple losses. All right, we took out two more of theirs. Okay, so right now we've got a one take advantage. Now, every once in a while up top it says that um, we're trying to cap an enemy base. That could end the game real quick, too. We don't have to destroy everybody just to win. Uh, a victory is a victory, whether it's all their tanks. I think you get more experience if you kill all their tanks. But, hey, a victory is a victory. So, alright, we're tied up now. Danish Spy. He just destroyed Redbeard. And Flash Fury just got Wazoo. Alright, Gabriel destroyed Mixia. 
Uh oh, we just lost two more. Hotman killed Gabriel. Dana Spy killed Python. Alright, so they've got a two tank advantage over us now. Alright, let me right click. Let's follow here. So right now I've got uh, GMC Caleb. What's he doing? Okay, now some things you can actually run over. Uh, like this power line you could probably knock down. Uh, the car, there you go. He can run that over. So this is pretty nice. Some some things you can kind of move out of the way. Okay, he just saw somebody go by. Can't shoot that now, it's gone. Now, it looks like the enemy is on our base. They're going to try and cap it. My minimap shows that there's at least three enemy tanks there. So, oof. Oh, boy, we just lost three. Dana Spy killed someone, Peaky killed somebody, and Hotman just killed somebody. And three of them are capped. Alright, so we're probably going to lose this one just to capping. So even though we got a couple tanks left, they capped us. Oh, he's going to get him some last minute points by damaging somebody. Alright, so even though we lost, as you can see, let me go to my personal achievements. I got credit for detecting two tanks. I hit the target twice. I shot six times. Now, as you can see, I got I did earn a little bit more money, and instead of 18 experience last time, I got 50 experience. So again, you don't actually have to kill anybody to help your team out and gain a little experience. So let's come back here. So with my research and my free experience that I've got, I'm going to go ahead and check out a little bit faster engine. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that engine. Researched. Uh, I have one more engine upgrade I could get. I'm just going to go ahead and buy this one here. Now at some point, um, I'm going to try and put that engine in and it's going to let me know if I had to have a better suspension or not. Alright, cool. Um, now, I may notice, even though I got the better engine, uh, it still might not grant me full potential until I upgrade my suspension. So I might do that after the next battle. So we'll hop in, we'll do another battle here. I mean, you could, like, if I really wanted to develop this French tank out, I, I would just spend all those points now, but I haven't decided if I want to go to the French line yet because they don't have, like, artillery and stuff that I like. Alright, so I'm back in, in Malinovka. So this is all random. I mean, uh, you might see some of the same people from, from battle to battle. That's just the, the nature of random. Um, you know, you're going to hit the same maps every once in a while. But they have added new maps, so... But we'll, we'll come back here. This is the open field one. So now that I have a better spotting and a little bit better engine, I'm going to go ahead and rush and maybe get credit for spotting one or two vehicles while these guys stay back and shoot from the safety of the uh, berms. So like right here next to that house, the berms, what's nice too is those are also destroyable. So if your vehicle pulls up on the berm and you're not tall enough to see over it, you can shoot that berm a couple of times, time lower the wall, and then you can see over the berm and still have a little protection yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and just rush right up the middle and hopefully get credit for seeing one or two vehicles here before I die. Give my team a chance to see what's out there. Here we go! Alright, somebody shoot. So I'm just gonna look around. Oop! Here they come! I'm shooting back. Alright, so that was quick. So if I'm lucky, I got credit for shooting a guy. I did actually damage somebody. Maybe I spotted one or two of them as well. So again, hopefully I'm going to get a little experience. But that's the thing with the light tank. When you just hop out there in the open, yeah, you're going to see stuff, but then you're very, very weak too. Um, but 
again, as long as I can see those folks, that's given my team a chance to see where people are, and they can decide where to maneuver as well. So, you are kind of the sacrificial lamb when you play the light tank, but you are very beneficial, and you do have a job. So, okay, we're up a tank here. Alright, we just tanked another one. See, those guys are rushing the open field now, which gives them just kind of Puts them out there like I was. They're going to get shot. They got nothing to hide. We've got guys here that are going up. Looking at my mini map. We're flanking them. They're going to try and go for a cap. Let me change here. See here. This guy shot his berm down a little bit. So he could see and shoot. Um, he's going to maintain cover looks like. Here we got a guy. Okay. So he was back behind the building. This is great protection against artillery. However, not very good protection against that tank that came up from behind here. Looks like we lost another one. We still got a two tank advantage though. Oh, now we got a one tank advantage. Let's hop up to this guy. See, he's got that machine gun looking thing. Yeah, he, he might fire off a lot of rounds, but it's very weak penetration. Now, that guy... Let's see here, if I put my crosshair. He's damaged. He's got 28% life left. Okay, so we got a couple tanks back here that might be able to defend the line and hit him. 28%. Alright, he just took another one of us out. Because he's he's got a lot of himself is hidden behind that building. See, what this guy needs to do, he's hidden behind this tank. That tank will offer cover. I just don't know how much. Now, he's shooting. Uh, just because I did not physically see that tank, again, that comes down to like camouflage and spotting. Um, that doesn't mean the tank isn't there. Uh, he very well still could hit and penetrate through that building and damage that vehicle. So he's he's just being brave and, and shooting. And he just got toasted by somebody else. See, another guy came up. Probably got him. Alright, let's see what else we've got. So we got another guy coming up to, to make his work. Careful. We just lost a couple tanks there. Oh, look. He's now out in the open, exposed. Oh, they're tearing us up. But we got some folks that went around. We got a couple guys capping. So because we initiated the cap first, even if the other team gets on our base, we will capture and technically win before they do. So we got a couple guys who are out here. There you go. Take them out. Take them out. Somebody got them. All right. So we're at 10 down a piece. So even though they just got onto our base, we can technically still win the match because we started our cap first. If we do, that's going to give me a lot of good experience because I did a spot and I damaged somebody. So let's see what happens here. Let's check this other guy. He is on his way to cap. Now the more vehicles that you can put on the base, the faster you'll cap. So um, that sometimes is key as well. I have seen matches where we had one person on a base but the enemy player had a couple tanks from 